welcome to Indianapolis, Indiana, where 42 drivers take on the road course of the legendary oval of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. These tough corners will present a tough challenge for these drivers who haven't seen a road course since San Francisco last year in the round of 16. How will these 42 drivers fare today here in Indianapolis? First off, let's take a look at your ones to watch for the Indianapolis Roval. First up, it's Christopher Bell. He is your pole sitter in the number 20. He's looking fast this weekend. Chase Elliott starts second in the number 9 Chevy Camaro for Rick Hendrick. He's always strong on the road courses. One the only regular season event at a road course. Martin Trucks Jr. also always strong on the road courses. Showed that in the All-Star Challenge. Haley Deegan starting in 6th, and she won the last ADCS sanctioned road course event, the All-Star Championship at Monza. Santino Ferrucci starting 15th, he's the only one with experience besides Briscoe on the road course. Lando Norris starts 8th, 18th, and he is a road course specialist. And now we go to your national anthem. And let's not waste any time here. Let's we'll get into your starting lineup for today's race. On pole, it's Christopher Bell, and alongside him, the number nine of Chase Elliott. Row two, it's Martin Truex Jr. and Joey Logano, the two drivers in row two from last week. Danny Hamlin and Haley Deegan make up row three. In row four, we got a couple surprises. Chase Briscoe, who won the only Xfinity Series race in this configuration of Indianapolis and Ryan Priest a road course special. Ryan Newman and Kevin Harvick the top two in points sit in row five. Row six it's Kyle Larson who needs a good day today to put himself back in playoff position and Michael McDowell in the 34. Eric Almarola and Ryan Blaney make up row seven. Row eight it's Centino Ferrucci from IndyCar and Kyle Busch in the 18. Row nine it's Brad Kozlowski in another Road course specialist Lando Norris. Row 10, it's Matt Benedetto and Chris Busher. Row 11, it's Ty Gibbs in the 51 and Kurt Busch in the 1. Row 12, it's the 100 teammates of Alex Bowman and William Byron. Row 13, Ross Chastain in the 42 lines up next to Caden Joseph. Row 14, it's the two new teams. Daniel Suarez in for Trackhouse and Bubba Wallace for 2311 Racing. Row 15 it's Eric Jones for Richard Petty Motorsports and Corey LaJoy in the second. Row 16, Sheldon Creed, and alongside him it's Austin Dillon. Row 17, Tyler Reddick and Anthony Alfredo, who outqualifies Todd Gillen and his teammate again this week. Ty Dillon and Ricky Santos Jr. make up row 18. And in row 19, it's Natalie Decker and Cole Custer. In row 20, it's Noah Gregson and Todd Gillen rounding out the drivers who qualified. And Scott McLaughlin and AJ Allmendinger are the star cars for this race. Let's take a look at your race info. 10 laps and both stages are 5 laps each. 42 drivers in the first road course on the schedule. We're green at the Indianapolis road course. Oh, huge lockup already from Chase Elliott. He's going to go wide. Contact further back with Ryan Newman and Chase Elliott goes spinning into the gravel trap. And now Hamlin's going to go around at exiting the infield section as Martin Truex Jr. making a move on his teammate Christopher Bell. Ahead now is Martin Truex Jr. for a split second, but Christopher Bell is going to power through on the inside and take the lead and lead lap one at the Indianapolis road course. On board with Christopher Bell as they dive down in the turn one again. Christopher Bell has a good advantage now as Chase Briscoe looking for second place on Martin Truex Jr. And he's going to clear, almost clear Martin Truex Jr. for second. Now he does as he comes straight down in front of Truex. And Truex might even lose third here to Logano. No, but Chase Briscoe already with a strong start up to second place in the opening couple of laps as we enter lap three now as they pile themselves into turn one again. 
And now here comes the 19 making a move on the 14 of Chase Briscoe. He locks it up and he's not able to complete that pass. Let's see what Trux is going to do here. He's going to move Chase Briscoe out of the way. And Martin Trux Jr. trying to fight back for second place. But Briscoe just too strong with that inside line advantage going into the oval. Oh, now Truex trying to make that outside lane not work, not going to happen, and maybe he's going to lose another spot as well as we're on board uh, with Chase Briscoe in the 14 now. Truex is going to make the pass back, though, on Logano down the front stretch and into turn one. As the 20 of Christopher Bell continues to dominate this race. Into the hairpin and onto the front stretch to take the one lap to go in stage one. Christopher Bell with a pretty good advantage over the 14 to Chase Briscoe uh, on this last lap. Just can't afford to make any mistakes here. Just got to drive it nice and easy into those corners. The 20 car goes into the hairpin one last time in stage one. And on to the front straightaway. And Christopher Bell is going to win stage one at the Indianapolis Road. Chase Briscoe second and Martin Truex third. Uh, we have Newman, Deegan, and Harvick all finishing inside the top 10, and Chase, Br and Chase Elliott, my bad, uh, gets the last stage point. As we're green for stage two, and we'll go ADCS, all access. Hope you've enjoyed all access as we have four laps to go in the Indianapolis Roval. As Chase Briscoe continues to try to run down the 20 of Christopher Bell who's been dominant this entire race. Briscoe is closing fast though on that 20 car. He might be able to get there by the end of this lap. Let's see what happens here as into the hairpin. Bell extends the gap back a little bit but Briscoe gains so much on corner exit. Three to go at the Indianapolis Roval, and Briscoe's right there. Briscoe gonna drive deep into one, and it's gonna work. He's right on the back bumper of the 20 car. He goes to the inside. Bell locks it up huge. He's gonna go to the gravel trap, and Chase Briscoe has the lead. And into the hairpin they go. Chase Briscoe's able to maintain that gap over the 20 of Bell, and now he's gonna extend that gap a little bit. Coming to two laps to go here on the Indianapolis Roval, Ken. Rookie Chase Briscoe pull it off. The hometown hero here in Indianapolis. Grew up watching these races. Grew up watching Tony Stewart, his boss, and who he drives for. How special would it be to have a win here as Michael McDowell goes spinning in turn one. No caution coming out as Briscoe continues to charge. What a run it's been from Chase Briscoe. Can he hold on for one more lap at the Indianapolis Roval? White flags in the air. Can Bell get to him? It does not look like Christopher Bell is gaining. The gap maintained the same here as Christopher Bell trying to run down Chase Briscoe as hard as he can. Christopher Bell has one last shot at it. He's going to be too far back. Chase Briscoe through the hairpin and out of the last corner. Briscoe's going to win the Indianapolis Roval. A huge crash on the back straightaway exiting the Roval section it's Ross Chastain upside down a hellacious hit for he and William Byron and Lando Norris the all three of those guys went in hard and Michael McDowell as well oh my goodness that we'll have to get a look at that in a second but meanwhile Chase Briscoe is celebrating his win on the front stretch and congratulations to Briscoe first career win in the 80s and as we mentioned that was the first real big incident of the, of the evening. As, uh, let's take a look at your replay here. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Got directly turned. What a huge hit, though, by the 24 of Byron. Look at this. After Chastain goes over, look at Byron. He just gets hooked by North. Oh, my goodness. Almost up and over as well. We almost had two cars go over there. Uh, yeah, just gets hooked hard into the wall. And once it catches that lip on the grass, it just starts barreling. Lucky he didn't get hit as he came back across the racetrack there. A lot of cars could have hit Ross Chastain as he came back across the track. Luckily, no one does, though. Unluckily, though, for Chastain, he ends up upside down in the gravel pit. Good news, though, he has gotten out 
and is okay, but Chase Briscoe is your winner at the Indianapolis Roval. Who would have expected the hometown heroes? Let's take a look at your point standings after this race. Kevin Harvick and Ryan Newman maintain top two spots as Joey Logano moves in to third place. As Chris Buescher, Daytona 500 winner, continues to drop dangerously close to that 30, 30th spot in the standings where that's the cutoff for the playoffs even if you have a win uh, so let's take a look at the bottom half of your point standings michael mcdowell with that last lap rest uh, drops down all the way to 38 in the standings uh, tough break for him eric jones as well as ross chastain had uh, just unlucky days today as we will see you in the next race and it'll be at the fire keeper casino resort 400 at Michigan. Thank you for watching this presentation of the ADCS.